Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on the energy of the black moon. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you're returning, welcome back. So let's see, this energy is very, very interesting in terms of what has shown up, right? The black moon is going to be occurring on 30th of April, 2022. So let's begin. The energy that the black moon is bringing into your life is indicating to me that there's something that you're going to have to have an incredible amount of self-control over. There's something unfolding in your life. It's centered around destiny. It's centered around the element of infinity, right? I feel like there's a sense of, you know, perhaps someone coming into your world and making you rethink everything, making you question everything. And it might make you feel an element of grief, an element of worry. This could be a lover, this could be a person, this could be anybody. But it feels like some of you are going to be having some sleepless nights because there's some big realizations that are going to be happening around that period of time. These big realizations are not necessarily going to be affecting you in the way that you think it is. Come to think of it now, I feel like the black moon energy is indicating here yeah, that this is going to be affecting someone else a lot more than it's going to be affecting you, right? So that's very fascinating because I feel like it started off and I felt like it was your energy, but then spirit was like, no, it's actually not Pisces, it's uh, someone else that Pisces is dealing with, right? Uh, there's some sort of light that is entering into your life. It feels like it's uh, very powerful and it's absolutely surrounding you in a very protective sort of way. There's someone in your life that might have been a narcissist. There's someone in your life that might have been a very unhealthy uh, kind of individual. Uh, all I see when I see this person's energy is the absolute blackness of night, you know. So it feels like this could be someone that you know or somebody that uh, is around you, you know. Uh, that's coming out very, very prominently. So let's see. This person is going to be having sleepless nights. Could be as a result of you or what's happening in your life. You could give them sleepless nights based on your actions or the things that you do. I'm going to have to clarify that in a moment. You know, why I felt like it's not your energy is because your energy showed up here on the bottom of the deck. And if you look at the Queen of Cups here, and you could be a man, it doesn't really matter. Uh, she has control. She has power. She has the cup in her hand and she's calling the shots. And her third eye is open. So there is a lot of power that you're having here in your world at this point in time. It's a power you're going to have and keep for um, the rest of your life and the rest of your soul journey. It's your divine right. It's your divine power. It's your divine strength. Uh, no one can take it away from you. But it feels like you were not tapping into that for some time. So this is because there's a narcissistic energy that has been surrounding you or someone that's very toxic. But I feel like they're going to be getting what's coming towards them around April 30th, 2022 in a very significant, prominent way. And this person might have been trying to dim your light or trying to, uh, um, you know, it feels like they're so insignificant. They're so small. They're, they're sort of like a gnat, you know, it feels like a mosquito kind of energy. I'm not sure who this person is to you, you might know who they are, but I feel like they're going to have a lot of sleepless nights and they might not sleep for the rest of their life, to be honest. So let's see, what is being uh, hidden from you? It feels like the kind of energy where, you know, uh, there's a struggle happening in your life right now. And what Spirit is indicating here is that you're going to win the struggle, you're going to win this fight, you're going to overcome this fight. It feels like uh, the kind of energy where you have an opportunity to work things out in your favor and to your advantage. You don't see it now, but because you saw this reading, you're going to be aware of it, that everything is going to be swinging in your favor come April 30th, 2022. And it's going to be really, really good. So I feel like this is your major, major turnaround. This is for your highest good. This is you stepping into your power. This is all about you um, taking what belongs to, your, to you at the end of the day, which is which is everything, okay? So um, just like uh, telling you guys, based on what I'm reading in this um, tarot cards, right? So what is going to be revealed for you guys? I feel like there's an energy of conflict. It's a very 
fast sort of conflict, but it, it's centered around some sort of communication, fast communication. Um, and this is either you sending out this conflict to someone else or someone sending this conflict to you, but I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're armed and I feel like you're definitely in a position where you are able to handle it differently uh, than you were a few months ago or a few weeks ago. There's a difference about you now, Pisces. There's a resilience about you. There's a strength inside of you. And I'm very excited for this reading because it shows to me you're not just taking back your power, uh, but you know, you're know you setting the tone for the rest of your life. There's a gift that you have that not a lot of people have. And it's a gift so powerful, it feels like it's, it's really, really majestic. Uh, this could be your ability to see certain things that other people don't. This could be your ability to uh, navigate through circumstances, but it feels like your third eye is open and you're able to see through people. You're sort of turning into that figure from Raised by the Wolves, you know, uh, Mother, uh, which starts screaming and all... Um, the enemies or the people that uh, are not meant to be a part of her world, whatever, are just turned into uh, globs of blood or whatever. If you watch that, um, you know, that series, you'd know what I'm talking about. So the new path opening up for you is showing to me that uh, there's some sort of justice you're going to be getting here. It, it's with regard to a specific person, right? Some sort of justice in the form of communication, divine justice, whatever it is, it could be. Uh, but it feels like you're going to have an opportunity to either communicate with someone or the communication you come through could be an apology, could be something that uh, needs to be said, needs to be done. It feels like that kind of energy. It feels like the scales of balance are shifting in your favor. It feels like you're taking back your power and any sort of obstructive force or any sort of person that tried to stand in your way or tried to undermine you is going to get what they deserve. The next set of energies are the messages from the universe and it's showing to me you're putting an end to this devil, whatever it is. And a lot of zodiac signs are showing up in this life. I also picked that up for Aquarius as well. So I feel like this energy is showing that this black moon is getting rid of any sort of karmic ties, any sort of binds that have been on the soul. Um, you know, there's going to be complete freedom when this black moon comes around for you and certain zodiac signs who are reaching this massive point of enlightenment. Uh, it's very divine. It's very structured. It feels like it's destined. It feels like it's connected to the stars. I'm getting a lot of energy here, which is talking about the true... Um, uh, you know, people that are on certain paths, the, the destined people, uh, they're rising up at this point in time. And this is going to be uh, giving uh, the people that that are not meant to be on that path um, sleepless nights for, you know, from the 30th of April 2022 until uh, the rest of eternity, right? I pick up that sort of energy coming through. So what I'm also seeing here is that uh, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is present with the Devil Tarot card, the Ten of Swords. Something is coming to an end. It feels like some sort of pattern cycle, something that wasn't for your highest good is coming to an end to a very large, large extent. And it's going to bring a lot of power, a lot of protection, a lot of uh, divine justice in your life where you're going to be uh, sort of rising up, you know, and there's this glow surrounding your energy. So there's a magnitude about you that is going to be happening. It's very big. It feels very expansive. It feels really, uh, really good. This reading here in particular made me feel quite um, alive. It gave me energy. So I feel like you're going to feel very energized uh, when this energy comes through in your life. And it's going to be something that's going to stay with you for the rest of your life. Pay very attention Pay very careful attention to your dreams, uh, to the messages you're getting from spirit. Make sure you, you jot them down, you know, uh, keep a note of it and, um, you know, keep it in regard. So what I'm going to explore in the extended is what is this divine justice in the form of communication? Is it an apology? Is someone coming through? What does it really mean in the grand scheme of things? How it's going to play out, etc.? Uh, you're ending a very big cycle and it was meant to happen. It's been set in motion for some time, you know. I've been receiving some messages from Spirit. There's certain people that have represented certain zodiac signs that have left this earth at certain times. They could be celebrities. They could be people that you know. If you track uh, the events that have happened, any major figures that had the zodiac sign of Pisces uh, were actually um, people 
that were opening up the doorway to to another portal you know it feels like that kind of energy it almost feels like there was a reset that has happened in all the souls from a certain period the piscean age uh, if they were present on this earth they left and some of them are coming back but there's also a deep empowerment of the piscean people because there's still a lot of energy uh, surrounding you guys going off on a tangent there but uh, just keep that in mind sometimes i get these messages from spirit uh, yeah, I'll continue in the extended. Have a wonderful day and take care.